Hello and welcome to this video. Today I would like to share um, a simplistic overview of a vicious circle. Now a vicious circle um, is a sort of a generic term for something that we do on a regular basis where we seem to repeat a pattern um, of behavior or we, we repeat something that goes round and round in a circle basically and at times from a psychological point of view we feel like we can't break out of it and what I'm aiming to do with these videos is to try and simplify and help people to understand the reasons behind something or the the workings of something you know that they may not understand how something works now I why do I do this mainly because a lot the way that I like to work with people with psychology and and hypnotherapy and and you know whatever psych, psychotherapy and such like is I think it's important that somebody really that a person understands what is going on how something is working it's important I think it's important to understand how something is working because if we have a greater understanding about how something is working, we can then have an understanding about how we can change it. Okay, so this is one of the, the, the reasons why I like doing these videos and I like working with people on issues because I believe in my map of the world, psychology is about helping the other person to realize that they have the tools and the ability to cure themselves or or get out of a situation or to see what is or to understand what is really going on behind their behavior patterns that that they want to change i mean at the end of the day if somebody wants to change something that's what a psychologist is facilitating um, whether or not they need to know all the acronyms and such like to all of the various different things that are going on it, it doesn't i don't think that really matters too much what I think is important is that people understand how something is happening, how their behavior or their actions or their reactions or such like are working. Why is that happening? How is it happening? What can they do to change it? That to me is what's important. Um, I've done another video about labels and psychology labels and such like, which is fine. Haven't got a problem with any of those things. But the the average person um, into, you know, in today's world doesn't really want to know or need to know what all of those things are. They're just for psychologists. Um, and to be honest with you, even I lose count of all of these acronyms and such like. So but anyway, we're diverting, <laughs> diversifying. A vicious circle. OK, so in short, how does a vicious circle work? Well, a vicious circle starts with a trigger. Very often something happens which initiates a response in us. So, you know, whether that's a traumatic event, whether that's, you know, um, this can be really applied to anything like um, and the examples that I'm going to use are going to be habits. You know, typically, if you want to try and break a habit, very often you know if a habit is not working for you if a habit is 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 making you fat making you unhealthy is causing you problems and you you begin to really understand that that's what's happening but you can't break out of that habit this is where this explanation may you know be useful so very often at some point <clears throat> in the past something would have happened a trigger would have initiated a response of some sort so we start off with something like a trigger we then come down to um, the behavior okay we have the the behavior or the response that we have made so we start off at this level something's triggered us that inside us has made us feel something, we hear something, we visualize something, you know, in, in some way something's made us, you know, let me give you an example. It could be that you had an argument at work. OK, so you had an argument with your boss, for instance, or your manager or another employee or a colleague. So you feel 
you know, you have feelings inside. It made you feel really bad. It made you feel upset. Um, and so this is, you know, the, the sort of the behavior response that, that happened because of that. What then happens is that somewhere along the line, um, in order to counteract um, the, let's say we get the benefit, we get the benefit or the reward. So what we tend to do as humans is we try to counteract that. We try to balance things up a little bit. So we, we you know, a trigger, something happened we have a behavior response which which either inside us made us feel really bad or you know we could have responded in a way you know to that other person which we didn't really like either i mean this is what tends to happen so to counteract that we give ourselves a reward now in you know we could think that by the by the time somebody's had this argument it's made them feel particularly bad they feel really negative about it so the reward in order to counteract that feeling they may have a glass of wine when they get home okay so when they get home they then think well you know i'm going to have a beer i'm going to have a glass of wine or you know i'm going to have some alcohol or whatever um and then you know i mean it could be anything it, it's for some people it could be that they go outside and have a cigarette um, you know, it could be that they go out and, and eat a bar of chocolate or something. I mean, it, whatever that reward is, you know, this is in response to the behavior, you know, the, the trigger. Moving on, what tends to happen is this then gets committed to memory. Now, what does that mean? That basically means that our conscious and our subconscious are now communicating. And our conscious is saying, well, actually, you know, because of this, trigger it made me feel bad um this made me feel good okay so eating a eating you know a bar of chocolate or drinking a glass of wine made me feel good uh, the memory then that gets passed into the subconscious now at the beginning of something you know early on <clears throat> it it gets passed as oh well you know this when this happens this is how this is how it makes me feel this is how I counteract it by making, my feel, making myself feel good or balancing out that behavior response. It gets kind of committed to memory, which then eventually comes round to this circle. So what happens is now the next time that person, let's say, you know, that person has an argument again with with the same manager or the same person or with somebody else okay what the brain is then saying okay because this has been committed to memory is well this has happened to me before okay i know what to do like, when i feel this when i feel bad when i feel negative inside when i feel i've been hurt or, or such like i can counteract that by having a glass of wine I can counteract it. I can I can balance that out by having a beer. I can counteract it by eating, going out for a meal and such like. And so it all it's doing is it's confirming to memory because we've now gone round this. We've rewarded or we've balanced out the behavior response, which again gets committed to memory. So the memory is then confirmed yet again. So the subconscious and the, the conscious and the subconscious are communicating again. And the conscious is saying, well, you know, th this is what's happened. This is how I've responded. This is how it makes me feel. I've balanced that out because I've now had another glass of wine. That's OK. I feel good now. Uh, yeah, you've done this before. OK, the brain. This is I'm talking about how the brain's communicating. The brain is communicating. Well, actually, you've, you've done this before. I remember that because that's how I, you know and that made me feel good or that made you feel good again it goes around and it gets confirmed into memory now the thing is as we this keeps going round and round and round and round the more the memory is being told that every time this happens okay every time something like that happens your body you know, your, your mind knows how to respond physically or subconsciously. You're rewarding yourself for something. 
it gets committed to memory and so the vicious circle is you go round and round and round and round and of course in the beginning this is kind of a, a defensive mechanism it's a coping mechanism what tends to happen is depending on what the reward we are giving ourselves because of this trigger can have a detrimental effect and this is where people start drinking more they drink more you know because of the behavior response the trigger the behavior response the reward might need to get so you know it could be that after a little while this becomes just a pattern that the brain then starts thinking well actually do you know what the reward isn't really balancing it out for me now anymore you know i need two glasses of wine to balance it out i need two beers I need more chocolate, I need more food, I need more, you know, more of a balance. And of course, because of the power of the subconscious and the, and the, the, the conscious communication, um, it can become a bigger and a bigger, bigger problem. And of course, over time, um, you know, it, it then becomes a real issue because, you know, the wine is having a detrimental effect it's increasing the weight it's some you know and then it becomes a, a problem it becomes a real serious problem for somebody and it's not until somebody gets to a point where this is now because it's been committed to memory so many times it's now become part of the subconscious and so it becomes a habit you know and this is the thing um you know the the offshoot of the memory thing is that it's become a habit it becomes something that somebody does on a regular basis without even really thinking about it because it's in our subconscious and it doesn't really become a problem until maybe there's a health issue or there is a weight issue or you know you know it's affected their job it's affected the communication with other people and such like because now the reward the effect of this balance the reward is far outweighing you know the um the the, the this the imagined kind of behavior response as it were the the, the so-called trigger and the behavior response link there starts to diminish and the reward benefit becomes more and more and so people then get into a state where um you know they ca they can't see how because it's been committed to subconscious memory they can't see how they can get out of this because to to them to the the brain it's now normal whenever something like this happens and of course this is just one example if there are multiple trigger things you know where people are being triggered at multiple different layer layers um and and so you know hang, having a conversation with one person creates a certain type of response and then they get a reward it could be that the reward is is also something that happens with another trigger and another trigger and another trigger so let's just say it's a, it's a glass of wine or a beer um, you know, and if there are 20 things in a person's life that they have convinced themselves to think, well, every time this happens, you know, this is how it makes me feel. Oh, I know how to get around that problem because I had that with something else. You know, I, I can go and drink a glass of wine or, you know, and such like. And so this trigger system, this vicious circle, people can have multiples of those. And of course... Um, because they go round and round and round, I can't remember how many times it is before we commit something to memory without even thinking about it. A bit like driving a car, you know, you're going from one place to another. Very, you know, the example is that very often people don't even remember the journey. They're, they're perfectly safe, you know, everything is fine, but they don't remember it because it's already here. It's already been embedded in their brain for so many times. The brain knows the conscious and the subconscious communicate together. They know how to do it. And so they don't even think about it. And that's what happens here as well. Things can go round and round and round. This vicious cycle can go or circle can go round and round and round so many times that people don't realize that, they're, that this is what it is. So the job of a psychologist is to basically unpick that and try to figure out what this is. What is it that triggers you? You know, and how do you feel about that? <clears throat> and what do you do to counteract it? What do you feel after that? What do you feel after that? What do you feel after that? And so understanding how this works and how it impacts on people's lives, I think is an important 
aspect to an awful lot of things you know that happen in people's lives and habits that could be detrimental to a person's life and very often this is what people want to change it's either because they've had external feedback or they have begun to realize something's happened to them where their habit has caused them an issue and so that's when people very often realize it's it's the difference that makes the difference it's the bit that you know the person's lost their job and then some you know several people have said well actually it's because you're coming in drunk you know you 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 can't think correctly your behavior has changed you know whatever that might be you know whatever it might be at some point there is a shock which people then begin to realize okay i'm doing something that is not really good for me and i need to understand what it is and that's where a psychologist will come in and help that person to understand. Now, if you've got 20 of these things, yeah, that's a lot to filter through. That's a lot of things to actually get to the bottom of and to understand. And so the key thing then is to is to actually sort of come out. When, when something happens, it's changing this. It's changing the behavior response. And the reward obviously can be something else other than what's what's causing the person the problem. So anyway, I've waffled on enough. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I look forward to seeing you again in another video.